Hi, this is Jackie with AfterHourStamper.com and today I thought I'd share with you a fun way to make your own designer background so that you can match your stamps and your background and not have to spend a lot of time fooling around with uh, matching paper. Anyhow, these are the cards that we're going to work on. We're just going to do one of them. And while they look all the same, they each have a little bit different thing going on. But what I think is fun is right here, which is this background paper, and then being able to uh, stamp the image in the same color, and you get a very coordinated look with a minimal amount of work. So let's get started. What you will need for this technique, you will need a rubber stamp, you will need two ink pads, dye-based ink, and uh, use a lighter and a darker color. I'm using blues, you can use red and yellow, you could use any colors as long as they're dark and a light. You'll need some tacky glue, uh, clear tacky glue, a small embellishment. You don't have to have, but would helpful to be uh, a dye-based marker, a water brush, and then you're going to need some cardstock. You're going to want to have a piece of white and a piece of black, and then you're going to also want to try to get uh, some cardstock that matches the uh, ink that you're using. Uh, and of course you'll also need a card base and I've got my card base over here as well <clears throat> and a card base the first thing you're going to want to do is to create your background and what you're going to use for that is some cork and what I find fun about the cork is it leaves a really neat texture and while it leaves a neat texture each cork leaves its own impression. So here is the sheet and it has the impressions from these different corks. This is the one that we're going to use and it makes this impression right there. This one on one side makes that impression and then on the other side makes that impression. But I think that's pretty cool. So you grab your piece of white cardstock and you're going to lay it down and you're going to take your cork and start with your lightest color and I am using today Memento inks and this is Bahama Blue and Paris Dusk so we'll start with Bahama Blue and you all you need to do is stamp up your cork just get some ink going on there and then you're going to stamp your paper when you stamp your cork make sure if you can see what I'm doing I'm turning my hand each time I'm turning the cork and that way I get the impression uh, going in different directions you can if you want keep it all going in the same direction and I'll show you what that looks like and because we're going to cover up most of this paper you don't have to worry about the inside as much as the outer edges but then again if you're going to cut it down you may want to make sure that you have enough coverage all over again Keep turning your cork so you get the impression in different spots. And the other thing you want to remember is that you want to go off of the paper. And by that I mean you want to stamp right up to the edge and over the edge. And just go ahead and fill that paper up as much as you want with that stamp. Keep going. And when you're happy with the results, you can stop and then add the other color. We'll put a little bit more on here. And now we're going to go ahead and add the other color. This one is the Paris Dusk. And I'm going to go ahead and ink up my stamp and continue to go. And you get the idea of what's going on here. And when you keep doing this, I'll show you the background that you get. So your background will come out looking like that. Now if you don't turn the stamp, what you get is something more like that, more uniform. Now that would make it kind of a pretty uh, background for water, let's say, but for today, this is what we want to use. Once you're finished doing your background, you're going to set that aside, and the next thing you're going to do is ink up your image. So we're going to do that in two colors. We're going to take our lighter color and we're going to add the ink to the stamp. We're not going to stamp the stamp into the ink. Make sure we get that pretty well inked up. Then we're going to take the darker color 
And what we're going to do is just go around the edge of the stamp with the darker color to add a little dimension to our image. And then you can take a little bit if you want and put it into the middle and add it to a few other places. You don't have to do a lot of it, or you don't even have to do the two colors. I just like the two colors. And now we're going to stamp our image. So you line it up on the cardstock and stamp it. Make sure you press down so you get a good image. And hopefully that'll work. There we go. Voila. So we've got our image. The next thing we want to do is go around the corner, uh, the outside edge of the image with our dye based marker. If you don't have the same color dye based marker, I'm using the Bahama Blue. You can go ahead and just uh, go ahead and wipe this on the your ink pad. But I find using the dye base marker a little bit easier. So once you have that done, you can either leave it alone or if you want to, you can take your water brush and I've got a paper towel here and then pull some of that color that you've just put around the edge into your card. So you get a nice little shading effect going on. Not a lot of color, but just a little bit. And you can kind of get the idea. And you can go around and do the whole thing if you'd like. After you've got your stamped image, you're going to want to go ahead and mount your image on some paper. And I've already pre-mounted this. So I have some layers going on. One other thing I forgot to mention, when you're stamping on your um, craft sheet like that and going off the edge, you're going to get ink on your craft sheet. Make sure you go through and wipe it off because you don't want your card back to pick up the color. And after you wipe it, dry it so that your card doesn't get wet. All right. So here I've layered uh, with a sixteenth of an inch. I've gone around with black and then with purple. You then take your uh, card and figure out where you want to cut out your background paper. So you pick your what you want there, and I've already done that. So we're going to go ahead and mount these to our card base. Very easy. Just go ahead, use your tape gun or tape. Now you can also mount your uh, image to your card base using dimensionals, or you can just leave it flat. This time we're just going to leave it flat. So line up, make sure you line up your check to make sure you're on the right side there. And then line up your base, push it down, take your image and come across. Make sure you get lots of adhesive on it so it'll stick well. Then we're going to go ahead and line that up. And you could do other things too with your background. If you wanted to put shimmer mist on there, if you wanted to add a bow to this card, that would work. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of adhesive and add just one embellishment to this card. And no matter what image you use, you can use any image with this uh, style of card. If you add one little element to the card, it adds to the um, design of the card and it makes your card kind of give it that one last little piece that makes it pop. So what I'm doing is I'm adding just a little bit of my glue. I'm using Aline's, what is this, clear gel tacky glue. I'm adding it to my craft stick so I can control how much gets on my embellishment because I don't want, you know, if you put too much it squishes out the sides. So I've got that. I'm going to add my embellishment, push it down, and there you have it. A nice card. You can also, like I said, add other things. You can add ribbon. You can add, uh, if you wanted to, you could use glimmer mist. You could put a saying there, but I think it's a great way to be able to have a coordinated card without having the designer paper on hand. I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial. Please visit my blog at AfterHoursStamper.com. Have a great day and happy crafting.